Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, it has been a really long time since I have uploaded something. It has been actually over a year and I don't want to um, remind you that it has been over a year. And if you're still subscribed, thank you so, so much. It means the world to me. Um, and I'll get to that later in the video about YouTube and everything. Today, I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me, chit chat, um, trend video thing. So if you have not seen Instant Influencer Season 1 from James Charles, I watched it and yeah, I really loved it. And I was sad that my favorite didn't win, um, but I really loved her concept. So I recreated it kind of with my own, obviously my own words and my own spin and everything. If you want to know how I did this look and the meaning behind the words and everything, um, please keep watching and yeah. Hello. So I don't have primer. So I'm gonna try to work without primer. I'm just gonna do my base. This is what I look like on the daily. So usually if I'm too lazy to go to the sink, I spray my beauty blender with my Mario Badescu and that's how I use it wet. Is that a waste of Mario Badescu spray? Maybe. Me foundation. So I was inspired to recreate this look. Um, well, first of all, I watched the Instant Influencer um, season one. It was a little cringe, a little like, you know, drama, whatever. The contestants had to do a mega makeup moment, which I'm surprised I remembered that. They basically recreated their own um, like trend. That was basically the challenge to see who would win. I really liked her trend out of all of them. So that's why I'm going to recreate it. Oh my god, I didn't even um, address the elephant in the room, which is that I'm back after a over a year of not posting anything. <sighs> Which, honestly, a lot has happened in the last year. I'm definitely not the same person. <laughs> I act like. Anyways, I mean, a lot happens in a year. And, um, I mean, it'd be crazy if I stayed the same, stayed the same after all this time. Um, but yeah, a lot has happened. It's been a little bit crazy. <sighs> a lot of personal things have happened, which I've um, I'm obviously not going to talk about. Anyways, so I'm using some translucent powder. It is from Makeup Obsession. I just got this literally at Target. I'm just going to bake a little bit. And then I'm going to carve out my eyebrows. So, so back to what has happened over the year, the last year. Um, so I have now, well the last time you guys saw me, I don't even remember. Oh yeah, I was like about to end my freshman year of college, which I did. And um... I also just finished my sophomore year of college. Um, so, sorry, I'm like trying to talk and focus at the same time. I don't know how all these freaking YouTubers do it. Oh, I, I know how they do it. They don't talk. Duh. Yeah, I finished my sophomore year. Hallelujah. And now I am a junior. Well, technically, technically a junior because I'm done with sophomore year. So next fall I will be a junior. And honestly, 
literally has gone by so fast. I feel like faster than my freaking, than high school. I don't know why. Okay, I don't know why my eyebrows look like blocks, but we're gonna fix it. Now I'm just gonna take off this so I look not crazy. Okay, so I don't know how much I want to share about my life just because personal safety reasons. So all I will say is that I did get a job last summer and um, so that was a thing that happened. It was like my first job ever and yeah, I met a lot of cool people and a lot of people that were not that cool. Um, and yeah, and I was going to go back and work there as soon as I got back from school or try, at least try to get to have them rehire me, you know? Everything happened and, uh, you know, everybody's plans changed and everything closed down and blah, blah, blah. So, um, wasn't able to do that and I have been staying in quarantine. I had stayed in quarantine for a long, long time. Like months, um, months, months, months. So I'm going with my mini controversy palette. So I'm going to do two looks, two different looks on each eye. This side of my face, I'm gonna do a different look. The reason that I have not um, been making videos at all this last year, I, I've just been busy with like life honestly and YouTube just kind of like, I just kind of push it aside regarding like priority. Um, at the time I was like getting another, I was getting a job. You know, I was, uh, I had an online class over the summer as well, um, last summer, so it didn't really, 
my priority at the time was not to make videos. Like, I did really want to make videos, obviously. Um, you know, doing this is like something that I started out doing because I really enjoyed it. And it was just a way for me to like express myself um, without like fearing that people were gonna judge me for some reason even though this is like the place that people get judged the most ever um but i don't know i just I, it's i've literally been vlogging myself since i was a kid so before even i knew what vlogging was so like the fact that i'm still wanting to like be in front of the camera and doing whatever i want to do is just like always been a part of me i guess a lot of people here um, you know, they like to be on camera and they like to like share their life, which the sharing my life part is a little weird, I'm not gonna lie, but um, I'm trying. So I'm obviously, I, it's gonna take a lot for me to get to the point where I just share my life openly and obviously not a lot of YouTubers share their life openly. Um, which obviously should be our choice how much we share. Now I'm gonna use, it is called Freck. So yeah, Freck. So I use this to place some fake freckles um, on myself. And apparently they look really realistic in person and everything. Cause a lot of people actually believe that I do have freckles sometimes. Not that I'm trying to fool anybody and make them think I do have freckles. That's not really why I like having freckles. Um, I just like them. <laughs> it's a fluffy brush and I go in with my boyfriend's purse again and I use that on my nose and on my cheekbones. Ooh, I used a lot, a lot. I also use it kind of on my nose. To get the maximum blush, blushy blush look. I really enjoy making videos, posting them, editing them. So the fact that I'm back is really freaking exciting. So I can't find my freaking uh, actual lipstick, so I'm just going to use the lip liner. So now for the words that I will be writing on both my cheeks. So I had a list of words that I wanted to write. I think I'm only going to write one word because I don't want my face to be really crowded on both sides. Using this. Uh, cat eye ink from pixie um, to write the words so on this side of my face I'm gonna be writing the word enough so this word is really extremely meaningful to me it's like a reoccurring thing in my life where I just do not feel like I am enough a lot of the time um, regarding school not having uh, the best grades not you know, I always, I feel like I always try so hard to be um, the best person that I can possibly be and sometimes it's not really reflected. Like if I try super hard in school and my grades, I still get like B's and stuff, which I know it's like the last thing I should be complaining about. But you know, when you work really hard for straight A's and you still don't get it, it's discouraging, obviously, sometimes. So. Um, so being enough is something that I've really struggled with, as well as also in romantic relationships. I realize that, um, sometimes I don't feel like I'm enough for that person and that's the reason it, like, um, doesn't work out, but honestly, I've really, like, tried to realize that, you know, I am enough. I am 
beautiful, I am um, intelligent, I'm smart, I'm everything. Obviously, I'm gonna keep improving upon myself and being the best person that I could possibly be, but like, I'm tired of just not feeling like I'm enough for people. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm writing enough, because I am enough, and I will always be enough. <laughs> So the word that I'm writing on the other half of my face is the word boring because I think that that's kind of the way people perceive me in a way sometimes when honestly if they could just give me a chance, you know, I they would find out that I'm not that boring. So <laughs> um, I'm going to be writing that on this side. So I do realize these words are backwards, guys. Okay, so I think this is the final freaking look. So this is the completed look. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye. God, oh god. What if I like write them backwards? Okay, it's fine.